Hello, and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Gundam in a little bit of a take on the Titan's colors. It is a 400 to 600 cost space and ground capable general with a ballistic beam and melee resistance of 15, a range strength and melee strength of 20, a movement speed of 130, and a thrust gauge of 60. The ranged and melee strength both have been enhanced on this individual unit. That's why there's the plus ones, just in case you didn't know. For parts, we have close range of 10, medium of 13, and long range of 5. And it is a melee priority 3 suit. Now, this unit does have a couple options when it comes to range and melee. Its base uh, range weapon is the Gundam Beam Rifle. It's a charging heat-based beam rifle, which does some pretty decent damage. You have the option of using the Hyper Bazooka or the Gundam Beam Rifle SN, which has a uh, kind of a fire launching uh, grenade launcher underslung underneath the... Uh, well, the, the beam rifle. It does a slight bit less damage, but uh, it's not that bad. For melee, we have the beam saber enhanced. Then we also have the hyper hammer, or I dislike it hammer. Or nerf it hammer, whichever you want to call it. Then we have the very subpar and very expected one year war head mounted Vulcans. Not great, but a, in a pinch, they might help. Then we have the large shield. It's a large shield, which is good. For skills, this cost of unit has leg shock, shock absorber level two, quick boost level two, emergency evasion system, high performance balancers, melee combo controller, and high spec and back. What can I say about this unit? Next to the Zaku 2, this unit might be the very definition of a general, especially as you go up and especially if you're using Federation generals, it uses an energy weapon, it has some options, and it performs very, very well. It can be a unit that will uh, perform decently no matter the cost it's in. Uh, it does get overshadowed as time goes on, but it's just a good, solid, basic unit, which is hard to beat in, uh, in a game where they keep adding more and more complex suits. So my opinion is it's just the very definition of a general, but not as general as a Zaku 2. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic time. And uh, yeah, this was a situation battle I recorded and uh, I'd like to make a good point of saying that the Ak guys are 200 cost, the GOG and the ZGOG are 300 and the support which I never remember the name right is 450 and the Gundam in this is base 400 so it's a little bit stacked in that regard but I still think this does show off some of the capabilities of probably one of the defining generals in the game at least from an early standpoint um, so yeah, it has a pretty fast charging uh, beam rifle, does some decent damage, and we're going to just get in there, and we're going to be aggressive, um, we're using the Vulcans, we're going to clash with the Gog, because we're both priority three, we're going to back off before we get punched by the big boy, and we're going to use the building as a little bit of shielding, he's going to come around, we're going to hit him with that, and then bam, he's gone. And we're going to use the head Vulcans to just chew up this poor uh, Ak guy who tries to get a counter on us. We'll hit him back and then just finish him off. So, that's not too bad. Oh, we got punched or knocked down. I'm not sure who knocked us down. But um, we're going to put a little bit of pressure on him, but I'm going to decide not to pursue him. Because I see a couple of my guys tied up back here at the base. Initially, I was going to take a just a long range shot. Let's wait for it, wait for it, miss. And I decide, okay, well, let's go over, grab B. It's good etiquette. And uh, set our team up for a little bit of that success sauce I've heard about. 
And um, it's always a good idea to grab a spot so people can spawn in a little bit closer to the battle. Um, it's uh, just a good idea to have. So we're going to get back up and we're going to see this act guy trying to come up on us and the gog. He's just going to keep walking menacingly at us. We're going to try to get our kid in but uh, act guy is going to get a delayed charge and knock us down with a counter. But we're going to get right back up because we want to listen to Chumbawamba as a kid. And we're going to knock the gog down and give him a little bit of a taste of nerf. And that's going to get him pretty close to death. I'm going to let my teammate get the uh, kill there. We're going to take out the act guy. And then we're going to shift over to put some more pressure on this act guy with a nice big hit. He's going to get another uh, counter into us. But we're still alive. And uh, the support behind him isn't. So, mwah. So we're going to just take a shot. Take him out there. And we see someone uh, once again fighting it out at the base. So we're going to come around and try to give a, a bit of a hand to our team member. So we're going to just come over, take a shot, hit the Zigop, and we're going to go with the Head Vulcans. Um, one, because they do okay damage against a raid this much lower cost, and to try to get that uh, stagger built up in case he uh, evaded some of his shots. So with the uh, condition of my suit, I decide I want to at least he'll uh, repair up a little bit and then I take a charge shot at the range but I'm not gonna stay there for the full time just get a little bit fixed up and then I'm gonna move over and we're gonna try to take a couple of, uh, cheeky shots Shazam and what I'm gonna do is try to get Phil for the situation before I just dive in fire again and my guy I thought he had died he didn't, so I pushed in, come up again behind the dog, knock him and the, uh, the Zagok down, get knocked down by my uh, fairly aggressive guy, and I'm going to follow the Gog, because I know I can take him out fairly quick, and he's slow. So we're going to knock him down, teammate's going to take him out, switch to our Vulcans to try to put a little bit of uh, pressure on the Zagok and then kill him. I'm going to move over here, I'm going to take a shot into uh, the act guy as he tried to get a counter on us. We're going to counter him to death. Bye. And of course, not a massive accomplishment against an act guy at half our cost, but a hey, slamming makes me feel good, you know? So we're going to move over here just to check up on two. And I'm doing a little bit of a search because I know there's a... a, a in case you haven't played that map, that area near B, there's a little bit of a waterway you can sneak up in. Iron. So we're going to take a shot there. We're going to come over and we're going to take a shot straight into that rock pillar. Beautiful. Great snap shooting. Throw a couple rounds down and then we're going to double back because I was really worried about the location of their support for some reason. Well, I am fairly low. You could one tap me. Wait for a second. Wait for a second. Sazam. And there we go. We're going to fire again. And, oof, that hurts. I don't believe the Act Guy has a very good beam. And we're going to get knocked down. Beam resistance. Uh, the Zogok is, or Zogok is going to miss his uh, charge attack on us. We're going to come over. We're going to get him with that cheesy Federation downswing. And we're going to come over put a little bit of pressure on the support. Uh, it is funny how little damage can make people kind of back off. Now we're going to follow the Zagok around. And we're going to miss our shot. But we're going to come up on him and give him a good smack it. So that's a plus 325. We're charging up again. Get these Ak guy who's trying to come up on us. Trying to be all gangster, unfortunately. And now he's gone. He's gone off to the Gangster's Paradise. We don't need to worry about him. He's in a better place. I've taken Act Guy to the farm, where he'll be happy. We're going to shoot the Gog here. I always feel bad about shooting the Gog. Our shield's going to stagger us, but we're going to push forward. Sometimes that's the best option, because people don't seem to expect that. Use the pillar to protect ourselves as we keep trying to... Uh, Worm some damage in. Luckily survived that shot. Knocked down our support buddy here. 
and I'm a bit stuck so I decided I want to stay close to him because I was hoping he was going to go for a melee but we're going to catch him with that and then uh, I believe an act guy took us out but it could have been the Zagoth for all I know. Nope, it was an act guy. He got his vision. Oh well, that's how life is. So we're gonna spawn in at B in the last minute or so of the match because uh, I spotted my uh, support here getting pressure, so I'm gonna come in, give that act guy a couple smackings, but I can't quite push around uh, my support, so I'm gonna get hit from behind, and I'm gonna be able to at least come in, take out this act guy. He's dead, but he gets to knock us down again because, sure. The uh, Gog is going to go for that extra damage. We're going to come in, knock him down. I don't care that uh, the actor guy got taken out. But put a little bit more damage on the Gog back up. Using the building, because I wasn't sure what way he was going to go, come in and finish the job. And fortunately, I wasn't able to kill him faster, but that's how it goes. So we're going to turn around and victory! Sweet, sweet victory as the eyes on the backpack look back at us. There's our pose. And let's see. Two board positions. And first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.